It was one of the greatest challenges in Olympic history. Could Beijing, a city notorious for its smog, clean up its act in time for the Games? The government spent over $17 billion over a 10-year period to curb pollution. In recent weeks, they've shut down factories and cut Beijing's traffic in half. Residents say the environment has greatly improved. The air is very clean. Um, I, feel, I feel the environment is more better than, uh, than before. In an attempt to beautify the city as well as cut down on pollution, city authorities have planted nearly 50 million flowers around town. But these attempts do little to mask China's ongoing pollution challenges. 16 of the world's 20 worst polluted cities are in China, and only 1% of the country's 560 million city dwellers breathe air that could be considered safe by European standards. The World Bank has estimated that each year there are three quarters of a million premature or unnatural deaths simply due to air pollution. Judith Shapiro, author of Mao's War Against Nature, says China's air pollution isn't its only cause for concern. Something like 70 percent of all of China's waterways are severely polluted. Um, something like half of all Chinese people have no access to clean drinking water. Despite these health costs, many jobs depend on these high-polluting factories. There are many people who are like us. We have to breathe dirty air working on construction sites or factories, but we don't have other expertise. So this allows us to make a living, which is good. Nearly 1,300 new cars hit the roads each day in Beijing alone, but less than a quarter of the city residents own a vehicle. I think it's important for Chinese people to have cars because having cars means we have made great progress and our standard of living has improved. But China might not have to choose between development and the environment. So we can look for win-win solutions so that um, the Chinese people can enjoy the best technologies, the cleanest technologies, and still achieve a standard of living that is um, worthy of you know, a developed country. Striking the right balance between industrial growth and environmental protection presents an Olympic-sized challenge. While China has a difficult path ahead, it also has an opportunity to become a global leader in protecting the environment. George Thomas, CBN News, Beijing.